Okay, view, uh, good eye view as well. Conclusion is, I think this microwave's definitely dead. Did some tests, and yeah, sure enough, I don't even hear the Magnetron try, try to warm up anymore. I just hear the fan, and that's it. I don't hear anything else, so the mag's dead. Let's do a little uh, ohms test here. Let's ohm it up and see what it measures. So before we even go any further, I can just get the tripod set up here and do some safety checks first before I go any further. Okay, before we go any further, the first thing we do is safety first. Obviously, before we do that, before taking the cover off, unplug safety first. Then we check this capacitor. Always discharge. So there's dual internal bleeding resistor inside, but don't just rely on that. So there's no bang or no pop, so that one is discharged. Alright, I think it's safe to approach. So I'll disconnect the uh, filament here. So we've got HV going through there, high voltage in there, come back out of the capacitor, into the heater, uh, filament winding, and back in through there. So we'll disconnect that, get the multimeter, we can arm this magnet, try and see what it measures. It may be open circuit, it may be short, let's see. The fuse up here is intact, that's the main power fuse, so that, uh, that, if that was blown the whole thing wouldn't work at all. Set it to continuity, diode uh, continuity mode. Disconnect this. Okay, it's a uh, filament's intact. Uh, six put two ohms. Now it's going down. Three put nine, three put six ohms. One point eight ohms. So it's not open circuit. Just do an ohms check. One point one point two ohms of filament measures in there. There's a high voltage diodes. Maybe these have gone pop. It's quite new to check. Open that way. Open that way. Hey, maybe the diodes are popped. Switch it around. Yeah, they are high voltage diodes, so they might be a different way to test those. Normal diode check. Nothing. Nothing. Remember the diodes are popped. But if the diodes pop, that capacitor's probably seeing AC and it's probably buggered the cap up too. I may need new diodes and cap for this microwave. Wish I could get a hold of some extra spare microwaves, but everyone takes it as a tip to be bloody recycled and sent to a third world country. Yeah, I was like, that diode test bad as well. Maybe the diodes have popped. Hmm. If only I had a set of abundance of capacitors, mags and diodes, we'll be able to fix this. Anyway, I think that's what's killed it. The diodes have failed. i finish off this CFL. Finish it off, good and pop on. The CFL's actually popped at all. Power on. Yeah, it's popped. Oh well. I really aren't looking forward to microwave than that. Shame the microwave died. Anyway, unplug safety first. Oh well, I'll find some alternative ways to kill that then. Okay, viewers, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.